So now what feeds tamper will do is give us an additional tool next to our feed settings. So I'm going to go up to structure and go to feeds importers. And you see we have our import products here. And we now have this tamper option. I'm going to click tamper. Now anytime we do any modifications using feeds tamper from the point where we're importing content before we transfer it over to a field is called a plugin. So that group of configuration is called a plugin. Now plugin is another one of those words that gets used interchangeably in a number of different contexts in Drupal. So don't let this confuse you. This is just something the module author decided was a good description of this, but it's not associated with any other type of plugin. So you see we have the different mappings here. We have name to title, description of body, and image to image. Now the image one is the one we want to modify. So let's click the add plugin link here to add our modification. Now for this plugin to add set here, if we click it, you see we have a number of options. The one we want here is rewrite and it's under the other category. But you can see we have several other options. We can decode HTML entities. We can make URLs absolute. We can strip the tags from the imported content. All of these probably sound pretty straightforward, and you can think of certain use cases where you'd want to do this. It's a good idea to read through this list to get a sense of the different options available through Feeds Tamper. There's a lot you can do here that will help you to not do manual editing later on. So we want the rewrite option, so I'm going to check that. For the description here, I'm going to type add public to image name, and here we configure the rewrite. So if we want something that doesn't rewrite it at all, what we're going to do is find the replacement pattern for the field that we're rewriting. So I'm going to click Available Replacement Patterns here, and we have Name, Description, and Image. These are the three fields that we have mappings for in our feeds importer. And I'm going to copy over the Image option here, along with the brackets on either side, and paste it in. So now ideally, this would just do the same thing as if we didn't have Feeds Tamper enabled at all. There is one catch, which is that there's a bug in Feeds Tamper right now. Hopefully it will be fixed by the time you play with it. But the title here actually needs to be lowercased. So I'm removing the uppercase I and adding a lowercase I, so it's a lowercase image. So anytime we're going to use any of these fields in here, we need to lowercase this first letter. So if we saved this and did an import, it would import exactly what it imported last time. But again, we want to add the public bit plus the subfolder that our images are in to the beginning of this image part. So I'm going to type public colon slash slash. And again, let's go back to our file explorer and take a look at the folder name where our products are. OK, it's product dash images. I'm just going to copy this right here and jump over back to the browser and paste it in. So we have public colon slash slash product dash images, and then we want one more slash, and then the name of the image. Now as you can see here, we can use the data from any of the other fields. So if we're in a situation where we have a CSV file that includes several pieces of content that we need to merge together into a single field, we can do that here, which is pretty cool. And now that we've done this, let's go ahead and click Add to save the plugin. And you see we have it here. And now I think we're set to try the import again. So I'm going to go to Structure, Feeds Importers, and click that. And then up here in the paragraph again, we're going to click Import. We'll click Import Products, and we'll scroll down. And you see it has the file here. Well, I'm going to choose our file again because I don't want to assume that whatever file is listed here is the one that we just imported. So this is just in case we made some modifications in the meantime. We didn't, so even if we didn't upload a file, we should be okay. But I want to upload it just because I'm a little bit paranoid. So I'm going to click Reviews to Import, and I'll click Import. Okay, so it says it created three nodes. Let's take a look at these, cross our fingers, and see if our images got imported as well. So I'm going to click on Content up here in the browser. And let's click on Canned Unicorn Meat again. Hey, here's our image. So everything imported properly. Now again, we didn't actually import the image. We just imported the path correctly using the Feeds Tamper module. We had to upload the images separately before we did the import in order for this to work.